Hi, I am Malcolm De Santos, and this is News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jade Fire from spreading any further. The SCV Water Agency did an open workshop, and here is Malcolm De Santos with more details. Last night, the SCV Water Agency held their first virtual public workshop on Urban Water Management Plan Update. SCV Water decided to open the meeting to the public in order to inform and solicit input from stakeholders during the planning and development of the UWMP update. As part of the requirement of the California Urban Water Management Plan Act, urban water suppliers like SCV Water prepare a UWMP every five years. The workshop was attended by specialists from the SCV Water Agency in addition to other professionals. The first speaker was the Water Resources Specialist, Katrina Pais, who explained that the UWNP document was a long-term resource planning document containing data on a region's water consumption for sustainable supply in the future. During the workshop, SCV Water has addressed several key issues that contribute to clean, reliable water for the community. In addition to analyzing how much water the agency needs to serve the current customers as well as a plan for growth, a plan for expanding recycled water and conservation programs was also discussed. The analyst of the water resources, SCV Water staff Sarah Fleury, addressed the issue of recycled water and, and how its use in irrigation has numerous benefits. A new water treatment plan was presented explaining how it can become viable, given that Recycled water has been used since 2003, however, little explored, as explained by her. You can access their website for more information on their next events. And for Canon's News, I am Malcolm Dos Santos. For more information regarding the CDC's guidelines for this Thanksgiving Cooper Ignition. The CDC has released guidelines for this Thanksgiving and is urging citizens not to travel for this year's Turkey Day. This comes after huge spikes in numbers of positive COVID-19 cases. The CDC has also stated that you should only be having Thanksgiving with people you've been living with for the last 14 days. Virtual gatherings are recommended. Nonetheless, be safe and have a great Thanksgiving. I'm Cooper Ignatian for Canyons News. Member of the Santa Clarita Artists Association, Marissa Nuffling, gave us an interview this weekend. Here's Cheryl Penny with some information. Meet Marissa Natlin, a former teacher and a member of the Santa Clarita Artists Association, who sees life in every direction as art. I'm retired. I was a teacher and I've always painted so after I retired, besides traveling, I continue to paint and I take classes and I work with other people. And um, I joined the Santa Clarita Artists Association and volunteered to be the person to schedule the, what they call plein air painting, which is outdoor painting. But the way Naftalin sees art is something that comes naturally to one. I think the best artwork I do is when I'm not thinking a whole lot. You just kind of do it. And I, th I think people who like to write, they kind of do the same thing. It gives them some kind of satisfaction. And people who, who do music, I, I have the sense that they hear the music, they need to get it out. And I think visual artists are kind of the same. You see something that's visual and you want to get it on paper. You want to share it with other people. Nathlin wishes for expiring artists to practice every day to enhance their craft. We draw every day, reach out to people whose artwork you are attracted to, learn from other people, keep an open mind, and just pursue it. For Kenya's News, I'm Shrat Penny. As Magic Mountain gets ready for the holiday in the park drive through experience, here's Diego Serrano with more details. After seven months of being closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Six Flags Magic Mountain is ready to welcome guests back in the park for a special holiday event. But this year, 
things will be different. The park will be opening a drive through display of holiday lights, music, and entertainment for their annual park festival, Holiday in the Park. This year, guests will be able to drive their cars through different areas of the park to experience lights and other holiday attractions in the safety of their own cars. Other health and safety measures such as mask wearing and social distancing will still be implemented in order to slow the spread of COVID-19. The event will begin on November 20th and end on January 3rd. Guests can purchase tickets and make reservations on the park's website. I'm Diego Serrano for Canyons News. That's it for this news, Michael. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube.